Welcome everybody, welcome to the Braid and Tinker podcast. My name is Melanie and this is a video cast all about my knitting. Um, currently I don't do a whole lot of knitting, but generally I do. My last video was in January and yeah, I kind of lost steam um, on with knitting after that video. I'm not sure why but I was just not really into it and um yeah I just didn't feel like making videos because if you're not knitting there's not much to show I guess and after that um a video game called Animal Crossing came out I am a massive fan of the Animal Crossing fan franchise on Nintendo I have been playing that game since it came out first on the GameCube in 2000 Four, I want to say. Um, I've played a lot of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS and I have been very much waiting for Animal Crossing to come out on the Nintendo Switch so super happy that that has happened and I have been playing that a lot. I have, I don't know if any of you is playing Animal Crossing I do know that it is a very, very popular game at the moment. Nintendo has sold a lot of copies. Um, and there is um, an editing mode in the game where you can design clothes and that kind of thing. So I decided to design some um, Icelandic type sweaters and I'll put the codes in the description box of this video but I'll also show them here. There's three different colours. It is the same sweater but just in three different styles. I'm sorry if the propeller plane that is above my house is now making a lot of noise but I think I'll just start with the stuff that I have finished. I finished these socks. I don't even know if I showed these last time but it's been such a long time ago I'm just gonna sort of dive in at a certain point. So I apologize if I missed anything. Um, this is just a shorty sock that I did with some yarn from Hobby, I think it is, and it is their Happy Feet sock yarn and I quite like it. I'm not super convinced on the patterning that I did at the top, it's just something I made up. It's kind of like a nice lace pattern and it looks okay when you're wearing it, but yeah. It doesn't really, it's not very exciting. Um, but I wanted to knit some more shorty socks for summer because I am in need of them. Um, I have a ton of knitted socks and I've got four pairs of shorty socks, which is not enough for an entire summer of sock wearing. So I thought I should knit some more, so. And this is a pair of socks that I've also finished. This is um, a Crazy Zauber Ball by Schoppelwolle. And I just did um, a large sock snake, cut it in two and uh, added heels and toes later. So that's why the colour change looks kind of different on the heel and the toe. But... I don't mind it, it's, it's not in an annoying way and I really really like the gradual colour change on these socks. I enjoy it very much. They are a bit fluffy and pilly because I've been wearing them a lot. Um, um, so, But they are clean, I washed them a couple of days ago and I put them on the blocker. So happy with those. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, I'm wearing my version of the Ginny cardigan. I am using a, I used a green uh, phenol garn and it's held together with a grey mohair by Drops. And I've been wearing the heck out of this thing because even though it's nice weather today we have had some really really bad weather and yeah cold it's just been I think unseasonably cold um so really happy I did not expect that I would be wearing this still in May um but I am and I'm really happy with it it the mohair has been pilling a little bit but actually not as bad as I thought it would be and it's just a 
fabulous workhorse cardigan. Um, yeah, super happy with it. And I was so happy with this Ginny cardigan that I decided to knit another one. I didn't have any phenol garn, but I did have um, a lot of this purple single skein uh, yarn. Now these are actually, uh, so the three here, the this lighter pink, middle pink and dark pink at the bottom that is actually from a company called Skein and it was from a set and I think it was for a Stephen West kit that was sold through Stephen and Penelope and a friend of mine um, had received that kit and she didn't really really like it and didn't really plan on using it because pink is not really her colour uh, and so she gifted it to me a long time ago and I'm was of course very appreciative but I wasn't really sure for the longest time what I was going to make out of it and then when I decided to knit this uh, cardigan I thought it would be perfect and the sort of neck band is knitted out of oh what is it again I held all of this yarn together with a purple um, drops which I had left over from some other projects that I had done. And um, in the end, I did run out of it. So I had to order some more, but because I was a bit more aware of how much I needed for that project, I don't have much left over. I just have like a tiny flub of purple mohair left over this time. So I did actually work through quite a bit of stash for this cardigan and I really like it it's very soft it is very funny like how the same cardigan pattern can one look so differently in a different type of yarn it feels really different the single uh single ply um single ply merino compared with mohair compared to this uh rauma finilgarn with mohair it just feels really really different this is so so soft i do expect that this is going to be much um warmer in a sense of being more like this is warm but for some reason it's really airy it's a very still a light fabric this is way heavier this is a much more dense knit even though i think i even like increase my needle size for this one um but still really happy with it i think it looks really nice um i really am happy about this color and I, it's just amazing what you can do with just like fading in a couple of um single ply merinos uh to get and kind of holding together with one mohair to give it that similar color tone toward to it so very very happy with this i do so in the beginning i didn't really like the garter stitch um neck band on this i thought it looked i don't know a bit unfinished or sloppy and i do really really like it now um and i think i like it more than a classical neck band so very happy with this uh, I just need to do all the things like weave in the ends, block it. Um, there is one dropped stitch here at the back that I need to finish in a way that doesn't make it look super obvious. But after that, it's finished, I feel. Um, and finished and ready to be put away for <laughs> autumn because I think summer is coming at, at a certain point. Um, something that I've been working on a lot uh, a couple of weeks ago is this crochet blanket and I'm usually not really into crochet it's not my thing but this is what I call the yarn gobbler and I've just been using scraps and leftover mini skeins to put in here and I absolutely love it. And I know none of the colors go together and it looks looks a little bit hideous probably to most people, but I absolutely love it. 
and my son loves it and it's going to be for his room or maybe even just for him downstairs to watch television under he's very much likes to snuggle up and be under a blanket together enjoys that this thing is if you have like leftovers and want to kind of get rid of them quickly because they're taking up i don't know half of your uh, um living room this is a great project crochet definitely gets rid of scraps faster than knitting does i would say i can crochet through a mini skein quite quickly much more quickly than i would with knitting so I've also, it's obvious that I don't crochet and um, like here at the bottom it's, the edge is quite lumpy and disgusting but I have gotten a little bit better at being more consistent about what I'm doing uh, at the top so I'm getting better at it I think. Um, I really like this thing, it's getting very big, it's very nice to work with. The funny thing is, so this bag was like filled to the top with scraps and it's actually still quite full but that's because I've been re-adding stuff to it because um, I do seem to dig up leftover yarn like in any nook and cranny in my house but um, yeah so this bag is actually getting a little bit too small almost which sounds ridiculous because it's a really big bag but this project needs to also fit in there as well it's, it's getting quite full um this project bag was gifted to me by derek's mum who made this it's super lovely she does um oh what's this called there is a word and i don't know any of the craft words anymore apparently quilting that's the word quilting she does quilting and does it really well and really nice and this is a great bag and it just sits on the couch behind me and I can just grab it whenever I want to work on it and I put a David Hasselhoff pin on it to make it look silly because I don't know apparently that's what I'm all about I had quite a bit of that sock yarn left over uh, that I made my um, shorty socks from because I made shorty socks so I decided to make um, uh, some socks for my son so this is for a four-year-old and this is just a sock snake and I'm almost done with this um, but yeah I wasn't really super m motivated to work on this a whole lot so I should really just pick a day and just kind of force myself to finish it because then at least it's it's out of my life there are some loose needles here sorry next project is a shawl that I am working on and this is from a pattern called Midsummer Rose which was in Czech's notes I don't know anymore <laughs> I've lost all sense of knitting terminology um, so that should tell you something from this really popular magazine that doesn't doesn't exist anymore and I keep wanting to say fringe but that's not it because they make the bags it's the magazine uh. anyway I'll put it in the video here it's the midsummer rose pattern it's a shawl pattern very very lacy and um, I dyed this yarn for it myself. I made like a peach colored yarn, kind of apricot maybe. Um, and the yarn is a merino silk and rami blend. And I think, so, so that, that I remember for some reason. And I kind of got to here and then I lost steam because the rows are getting quite long and I don't know it's just another one of those things that I should just pick some time to work on it finish it and then it's just done I am really really pleased with this it looks really nice I think it'll be really nice for summer I have a like an army colored sort of spring summer coat and I think this will be a very nice sort of feminine touch to kind of balance that out with that army coat so the pattern is 
enjoyable. There are some sections that are repeatable. So you can make this shawl much longer and deeper if you would like to. But after so many rows of repeating something and then the pattern goes and you can repeat this if you want to. And you are like, no, I don't want to ever get back to this section ever again in my life. I want to move on to something new. Thank you very much. So, yeah. I think this is going to look great when it's blocked. It looks a bit lumpy, frumpy now. I think it's going to be awesome, but I just have to finish it story of my life let's just pack that back into its bag i don't know why i only have four needles of this here that tells me that i've lost number five we'll see so i got this new coffee maker um and it's an electric style percolator because I was trying to sort of up my coffee game. I used to drink a lot of coffee from a French press and I was, I don't know, I was just kind of bored with it and I wanted to drink something else. And I remembered that I was visiting some friends of mine in Sweden a couple of years ago. And they had this electric style percolator and I thought it was the most amazing thing ever I'd ever seen, but they are quite hard to find um, I think in the rest of Europe, so they're quite popular in Scandinavia, not so much here. And so um, uh, for some reason, it just kind of popped in my head again, like, oh, I would actually still like to have one of those things. And so I went to um, Amazon Germany. We have like different versions of Amazon. There's like Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.nl, which is the Dutch one, and then Amazon Germany. And for some reason, the offering on the German site is like the best and the prices are good. And so I generally go to that one and the shipping is still super fast. Um, I really like it. Anyway, they had this electric cell percolator, but it was only like this, this one particular one, and it was the larger size. And I really don't need a larger size, but, and then I went to amazon.com, which is the American version, and they have a lot of different style electric percolators, also smaller ones. Um, but I think because of the whole COVID situation, um, it's just harder for them to ship to Europe at the moment and so it was going to take a long time or be super expensive with shipping or just not possible. So I just skipped that and I thought I'll just order the larger size on the German website. So I ordered that electric cell percolator and I'm so excited about it. And it's very like an old fashioned way of making coffee but it makes a very deep and rich and delicious coffee. But because that thing is so big and I was just so excited about it, I was drinking so much coffee and having trouble, obviously, falling asleep in the, in the evenings. And so I've switched. So what I do in the mornings, in the mornings I use like a 50-50 blend, normal coffee and 50% decaf, and that's what I drink in the mornings. And then in the afternoons I make another pot of coffee and that is just decaf. And because it's the beans that I got are really nice decaf beans, it is very, very delicious. And I have like had no more trouble sleeping. In fact, I am sleeping like a log. Um, for the past two weeks it's amazing so yeah super happy with that also really really enjoying the, having like this nice coffee because Derek has been making um sourdough bread for our lunch and sometimes we have like leftover and then he makes sourdough croissants and it's just so nice to have like a good coffee and a delicious croissant so that has been very very nice the last project that I'm working on currently is a Gramps cardigan, which is a pattern by Tinka Knits. I did a mustard coloured Gramps cardigan for my son a couple of years ago and he still wears it, but it's very obviously getting a little bit too small for him. 
I think with kids, with cardigans, you can get away with um, a, a little bit too small a size for a longer period of time than with a sweater. Like with a sweater, it just looks weird. I think with a cardigan, there is a little bit more leeway. So I do like making cardigans for him. Um, and this time I thought I would make a tomato red cardigan so that he can have like a little bit of a Mr. Rogers style cardigan. And this is um, coming up quite nicely. It's going to be a little bit too big, but um, he's not going to be wearing this in the summertime. And um, so by the time it is October, I think he will have grown quite considerably. He usually grows quite a bit in summer. I think most kids do. As soon as it's like holiday time, it's like their brains stop uh working in terms of learning new school stuff and brain goes into full full time growing the human mode so so funny to see anyway so uh yeah making this it's gonna be a little bit big for him for a couple of years probably <laughs> but he will be able to have it for a long time i'm using drops charisma because that's what i used last time it's a durable yarn it does pill i feel but with a gleaner, um, you can get away with it. And I think with like a kid's style cardigan that they just wear all the time, yeah, the pilling is just kind of part of it and it just makes it look fluffy and comfortable and nice. And it just, it makes it look like it's such obviously something that they've been wearing a lot and enjoyed a lot. So I'm not super against pilling on kids' clothes that much. Um, yeah, so the only thing is here, I'm probably going to swap out the um, neckband on the Gramps cardigan that is usually it's um, knit pearl, knit pearl rose. I'm just going to do garter stitch neckband like in the Ginny cardigan. It's the same neckband that Andrea Mary uses on the So Faded cardigan. Um, and so I think that I'm just going to try that on this and see how it looks for kids. Very happy with how this is going so far. The Drops Charisma is quite a chunkier yarn if you have been knitting. So I just came off knitting with a single ply together with a marine, uh, together with a mohair which is obviously much thinner than this Drops Charisma. So this is going so fast and it's a much smaller size than if it was for an adult. So I'm really happy about it. This was like two nights of work and yeah, happy. So yeah, that was all for this week. This week, I, I don't think I'm gonna be doing weekly podcasts, by the way, I don't have time for it. I might be doing bi-weekly. I think that's going to be a bit more manageable for my schedule. I also, I just have to see. I don't make any promises anymore. We'll just see whenever the next podcast comes out. I think that's more realistic. So I don't have any purchases. I haven't been buying any yarn. I'm trying to work through my stash and it's been going pretty well, I think. I'm really happy with working through my stash. Um, because I have a lot of nice sash, I have a lot of nice yarn. It's just nice to work through it and kind of remember, oh, this was a gift or this is something I bought at this and this event or I was super excited when I bought this because I had these plans and, you know, so it's just nice to kind of work through that stuff. Um, I think that's it for this, this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you all again next week. Oh, uh, next time. Also, so many thanks to people who've been leaving me messages on Ravelry and Instagram and Twitter asking me where I was um, because I understand that it feels like I kind of dropped off the face of Knitting Earth and uh, I do apologize for that, for not being present and not letting people know that I was doing fine. I really did appreciate all of your messages. Thank you so much. I am fine. I was just very much not interested in knitting. Um, that's how that goes sometimes, I think. 
um, but I'm back so yay thank you so much so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like um, or share it with friends or leave a comment in the thingamajig down below and I'll see you again next time bye